hi and uh, welcome to this free hypnosis session just for you my name is Jason Newland and I've decided that this is going to be a session specifically aimed at giving you a way to change your reaction or your response to maybe certain people who uh, are verbally challenging maybe I should be more specific uh, someone that says nasty things maybe somebody who may be a difficult person in your life could be a boss, could be a co-worker, could be a family member, could be somebody that you don't have as much control over what they say as maybe you would do. Uh, for example, if it was a friend, you might not be friends with them if they were like that. But if it's somebody that you work with in a team, you know, the only way you can get away from them is if you leave the job and maybe that's not a suitable alternative right now so this session is really a way for you to learn to change your response and saying that I don't mean that you're gonna learn to accept abuse because that's not what I'm saying at all if you feel that you're being bullied or that the person is verbally abusing you then perhaps you do need to take action if it's a work related then maybe you need to go through you know the management channels that are available of course I don't know what your specific situation is and that has to be your own decision what you do um, if it's something that's emotionally affecting you, then please seek professional emotional help. Um, okay, so I think I've covered that. The I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. It's up to you if you do so. If you do, please only close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so so that you know obviously don't watch or listen to this when you're driving or um, doing anything that needs your attention okay so what I am gonna do as well as ask you to close your eyes I'm going to make some suggestions to both your conscious mind which is you could say that's the part of your mind that's hearing my words right now and maybe is noticing my beard and noticing how amazingly handsome I am or um, other you know noticing the, that light thing behind me wondering why is it not on um, you know those things uh, noticing the wall and how come I haven't decorated the wall better than that now that's your conscious mind I'm also going to be talking to your unconscious mind and that's the part of your mind that maybe you're not aware of some people say there's three parts there's the conscious mind there's the subconscious mind and there's the unconscious mind some people call the unconscious mind the subconscious mind and some people have different words different you know uh, ways of explaining it um, from a hypnosis perspective there is if you look at this the conscious mind is what we discussed subconscious mind would maybe be things that you can that aren't in your immediate attention but you can grab hold of them if you choose so if I said to you what is your um, can you name all of your cousins first names you know for example that might not be in your mind so like wait a minute um, Paul Sarah and you can grab that attention or if I say to you uh, what was the first school you went to or can you list all the schools you went to or you know things that aren't in your immediate attention but are there 
that could be a moment where you know when you've kind of got something on the edge of your tongue and you're trying to think of a person you're seeing someone on television and you're thinking maybe you're discussing it with somebody and saying that person what was he in he was in that other tv show well what was that tv show and you can't think of it and then later on brushing your teeth and suddenly bang oh yeah it was wonder woman whatever for example so the that's some people class it as the subconscious mind the unconscious mind may be more deep rooted which you would need maybe hypnosis to access to pass through that bridge or to pass over that bridge and uh, some believe that everything we've ever done is stored all the memories of everything is stored in the unconscious mind some believe that uh, how our unconscious mind protects us from maybe some bad stuff that has happened when we were younger so that we don't remember it now so it protects us from the memories of it um, or the emotions connected with certain things like divorce or bereavement and things like that you know so some would say that some people say that the unconscious mind um, presents itself to us in dreams you know our mind kind of works through things when we're asleep uh, some say that the unconscious mind presents itself physically uh, in physical ailments so if we're not working through stuff and we're ignoring uh, an issue that's going on let's say we're going through bullying for example connected with this session um, and you put up with it and you don't do anything about it and you don't put anything in place to protect yourself then that stress gets pulled and pushed inside and it presents itself in a different way maybe in uh, anxiety as an example a very good example of that depression as, as well uh, can present itself physically as in an ulcer uh, or headaches or things like that so that's kind of the description of maybe the unconscious mind it's not very explicit description it's a vague description but it's such a big subject it's quite hard to really describe it in a huge way um, and I've never really tried to explain it in a video before but I thought I would this time partly because I suppose what we were talking about if you are being bullied or being picked on if someone's been verbally abusive to you in a relationship then repressing it it may not be the best thing for you it may be the only thing that you can do initially because I know things aren't always as straightforward as other people may think you know so if maybe what you could do so instead of repressing it there's a tech I can give you a technique that isn't repressing it but at the same time it's not dealing with the problem it's just dealing with the reaction of the problem so this won't be held inside and it won't come out again as physical illness but it doesn't deal with previous stuff that's there and it doesn't deal with the fact that the person's doing it but your reaction to that person can change that person's reaction or that person's behavior sometimes and again we're going from different extremes of behavior that i'm covering here from just somebody being unintentionally annoying to abuse you know it's two different extremes someone sort of saying something that's a bit inappropriate which i tend to do myself sometimes so uh, I don't mean to and I don't aim it at try, try and hurt anybody but you know in the past I've been told off for saying something and it's, it's the wrong thing um, to the extreme would be for someone who would be 
I guess I'm thinking of maybe someone at work bullying the person or um, or at school, college, university, ganging up, people ganging up. Or I suppose the most extreme would be, I suppose, in a relationship where a person's too scared to leave that person because they've been battered down verbally. Um, so domestic violence or, you know, domestic abuse, but verbal abuse or also child abuse, but verbal abuse, because that covers emotional abuse as well as everything else. Um, and from, uh, I've worked with abused people, I've worked with vulnerable people, and the main thing is out of all different types of abuse, emotional abuse is the top, the top one, the, the worst, because everything leads to that everything leads to emotional abuse physical abuse leads to emotional it it results in emotional abuse because the person is emotionally affected by the physical whether they're physically sexually uh, however it results in an emotional result an emotional hurt pain suffering whatever so I know this is a long-winded lead up to this subject but I do think it's important that you get help if it's needed because it's so easy to come online go on YouTube and listen to a video of, of uh, some random man with a beard I could be anybody I could maybe not even know what I'm talking about um, and just be making it up as I'm going along but I'm not so that's the thing you do need to look after yourself and if this is an issue that you need help with you need to get that professional help go to the doctor see your GP your medical practitioner nurse teacher wh whoever is a person an adult of trust that you can go and see a member of your family even a parent a child even if you're elderly seek help from your child some elderly people don't like to bother their children but you know if there's a relationship between the parents and a child the child will be fine with that you know as human beings we generally like to help each other especially if it's someone that we're close to it's uh it hurts when they don't ask for help yeah so this is the, the longest winded uh, road to a hypnosis session I've ever done I think and um, I might get some people complaining comments about it but it's fine I'm gonna put in the bracket introduction to um, the unconscious mind as well just so you can watch this the first bit of the video just if you're interested so this hypnosis session as I said is going to deal with being able to deal with somebody being verbally challenging uh, should we say so I don't want to use the word abuse any more times because I've used it quite a lot and there's so many different versions of the word and it is possibly an overused word because for me, when I hear the word abused, I think of the most extreme thing. Um, yet the word abused, it doesn't, it can mean so many different things. Um, so I'm going to concentrate more on an annoyance than anything else, okay? Um, of course, this can be used in mo lots of different situations. So like you to get comfortable and just to remind you that I do have hundreds of free hypnosis videos that you can watch on YouTube hundreds oh, at this point it's uh, Christmas Day 2013 450 videos uh, for various different things so I have ones that are specifically for relaxation and sleeping so they're, they're worthwhile looking at um, 
so this one I like you just to get yourself relaxed ideally close your eyes and I just do the same myself I always find that I get really relaxed when I do these videos the only time that I'm ever on edge is if maybe I'm worried that there's going to be some background sounds but I'll tell you now that there might be and I don't care and I'd like you to not care either because wherever you are there's going to be some kind of background sound even if it's just the fridge or if you was on top of a mountain there'd be birds you'd have the wind you know, even if you were in a self-contained container uh, where you, you know, you couldn't see anything, and uh, you still got to hear your heartbeat when you're breathing. So there's always an opportunity to focus on less things which also leads to a different state of consciousness which many people call hypnosis state of just maybe focusing more on my voice than maybe you were before because now with your eyes closed you can no longer see my magnificent beard and even if that makes you smile you can feel the way your mouth feels when you move it, when you make different facial expressions, different muscles are used. And that's something that maybe sometimes you're not aware of because it doesn't always seem important, I know because there's so much going on so much to be aware of and we can't be aware of everything but some would say that we are actually aware of everything that goes on unconsciously but consciously we can't be Because it would just be too much for our minds we just overload just like now I can hear fireworks in the distance obviously people got some cheap fireworks for that weren't sold at bonfire night in November and they found Christmas Day as an excuse to let them off. Not that I'm judging. And yeah, I prefer them not to do it while I'm trying to do a quiet hypnosis session. But at the same time, I can acknowledge that is what is happening. And it's okay. I can't control what other people do the only thing that I could really have any control over is my response and in the past that would have really bugged me I would have pressed stop on the video and I would have had to start it again at the same time seeing the irony 
of making a relaxing session and then getting angry at the same time. There's literally no point in that. It goes against the whole thing. There's also the benefit that each and every session that you ever hear of my free hypnosis sessions are all different. Because not only do you have a different bunch of words and sentences and paragraphs that I say, a different topic, a different subject of conversation, a different focus. You'd also have a different time of day that I record them. You have different background sounds. Sometimes it will be the neighbour upstairs just walking around and the floorboards will go. Sometimes it will be somebody closing the bathroom door or the front door or Sometimes a fridge will click and come on and make some weird noises. And I think maybe it's turned into a TARDIS, but it hasn't. The tap might start dripping for no reason. Or there may be some random fireworks. And I don't know why, but doesn't bother me at all. It's not important. And the question could be, how do you get to that point? How do you get to respond in the same way? When somebody has said something unkind verbally or rude verbally to you and I do have this little technique it's a neat little technique that you can use and practice and change as you will and use whenever you may decide to make those changes because the more you do this the easier it will be and you know what even if we did nothing from now on even if we brought this hypnosis session to an end your reaction to how people talk to you would naturally change because that part of your mind which is responsible for your reaction your response to rude people or people that have said something unkind to you something has changed inside you And a bit like what you said earlier, what we said earlier about not quite being able to put your finger on what it is. But it's changed. Whew. Changed. To a point that you can never go back. You can only go forward. Which is why I'm very very careful about making sure that every suggestion that I ever make in any of my free hypnosis sessions are positive, are healthy, healing, life changing sometimes. Even the spores change can change your life for the better. It's 
So what I'd like you to do right now, I'd like you to imagine somebody that annoys you sometimes when they speak. Somebody that isn't a threat, they're not a physical threat and they're not an emotional threat, but they just annoy you sometimes when they say certain things you react in an instant you don't always know why you react to that person because maybe if someone else had said the same thing your response would be different or you would have a response if basically the difference between a response and a reaction is a response is chosen a reaction feels like it's just instant but there is a gap if you're aware or used to using Google Maps on the internet or Google Earth you can focus in and that's basically what you do you can focus in and you can see that gap between what the person has said to you and how you feel and then what you do next whether it's a behavior whether you verbalize say something to them or you act in a certain way or you feel a certain way there is a gap the closer you get to it the more you realize it's more of a river there is a big gap you just didn't realize it before you're just so used to walking over it jumping over it at speed because you always crossed it over a certain bridge but there's plenty of room where there's not any bridges so maybe get to that river and then walk to the bridge which gives you a little bit more time to evaluate the situation which I think might be useful something else now that you can do which gives you that time it basically it brings you just to the river edge you can see the river and you could maybe see that person the other side of the river and whatever the behavior is that you're choosing to do you can think about that as you walk towards the next bridge which allows you across the river where you could then behave in whichever way you choose is appropriate for that particular situation so now I'm going to give you the technique which you can use and practice and it's fun I think that's fairly important that it's fun and can be funny as well imagine that person the difficult person standing in front of you in a scenario maybe that you've had before and what I'd like you to do is just imagine them saying something that they've said to you before. Nothing too bad. Hopefully something mildly or moderately painful to you. It is your choice. So just imagine them saying something. And as they speak, I want you to imagine each word comes out of their mouth separately in a bubble you know like a bubble that you blow when you're a child you can put the little round ring into the, the, the little tub of bubbles or washing up liquid and blow it out imagine each word comes out of their mouth in a bubble and then it gets halfway between you and them and it just floats up into the sky 
each word. And because it's inside the bubble, the sound is muffled. And the good thing about these bubbles is you can make the sound whatever you want them to be. So you can play around with this. This is your toy. Think of it like Meccano or Lego or something like that, which you really can make it however you want it to be. Play-Doh or whatever kind of things you used to play with when you were younger. Or even paint, you can make paint any color. This is your mind. So now just imagine this person saying something rude to you. And as they do, it comes out, each word has a bubble and floats up. Each word, each word. How does that feel different to you? Imagine it again, maybe something different. Imagine them saying something different to you. And just imagine these bubbles popping out of their mouth and then floating up into the sky. Maybe popping if you want them to. You can have them pop at any point you want and they just disappear. You can change the color of the, of the bubbles if you choose. You can have squeaky sounds every time they come out of their mouth. You know like what you do when you, you know when someone's making um, balloon animals, like, ooh, 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 like that. You can add some sound effects. That wasn't a very good sound effect that I made, but. I'd like you to now think of a different person that's maybe said something to you lately that you found upsetting. And have them repeat that to you, but this time in the safety, knowing that, first of all, you don't have to do this. So if it's, if it's uncomfortable, don't do it. Secondly, you will feel different this time. Thirdly, you will feel different about the last time they did it. Just kind of changing history a little bit. Not changing what happened, but changing your response to what happened. So do that now. Imagine that person in front of you saying those words. Each word comes out of their mouth as a bubble, in a bubble. And then allow those bubbles to float away or to pop. Add in your own sound effects if you choose. Notice how you feel different. Noticing your physical response has changed. I'd like you to think of a different person. Imagine them saying something to you. Something mean or cruel or upsetting. but watching it as the bubbles come out with those words. The words can be upside down if you want, or just floating, spinning, and they just pop or burst or just float up into the sky, gone forever. Those meaningless words that can no longer have the effect that maybe they used to before you decided no more, no more. No more will you allow another person's words to affect you negatively. 
because you now have the ability to take control the ability to experience more happiness more contentment and a freedom there's a freedom with this and everything that I do is about freedom ultimately hypnosis is about freedom it's about unlocking your mind it's about getting rid of the chains of our thoughts getting rid of the chains of our reactions because reactions are just another set of handcuffs because it makes us no more than just a dog reacting to the word sit it's just a reaction it's meaningless so we can move away from that conditioning which we all have we all have conditioning from birth I've had 43 years of it and obviously the older you get the more if you're only starting if you don't start working on it until you're 50 you've got 50 years of it but eventually it will reduce and whenever you start doing it at least you can know that you don't have to add any more on top so you can go to work tomorrow or whatever day you go back to work or to college or school or to family events or whatever it is and that person that is you found difficult in the past maybe they no longer bother you or maybe now you can look at that person and realize that you do have control over your own life and that that person is no longer going to be given the power by you because ultimately you're giving away that power for somebody else to affect you because they can't affect you you can be affected by them but they can't affect you now, it sounds like a contradiction but you in a way have to give permission for that even if it's a case of allowing it to happen by not making changes that are needed for you to move away from that situation if that's what's needed for you to be happy and to live a fulfilling life so that brings us to the end of this session and I'd really like to hear what you have to say about this technique and how it's been helpful and maybe how you've modified it and changed it to suit the situation and let me know about your experiences if you like this video please like you know press like on the YouTube channel please share it with your friends and family please leave a comment and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already so thank you very much and uh, there will be a new hypnosis session soon so what I'm going to do I'm going to count from 1 to 5 and then when I get to 5 you can either open your eyes feeling wonderful and optimistic or you can just leave your eyes closed and drift into a sleep if that's what you choose 1 two, three, four, 
feeling wonderful, remembering that you really can be happy. Five. Goodbye.